Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine. This time I'm excited because we're talking about something that's really exotic, the zodiacal light. Now this is something you can see if you get far away from cities in a really dark sky. I've seen it best at places like the Texas Star Party in West Texas, other areas in the desert southwest in the United States, the Atacama Desert in Chile, a really dark sky. It's a bit of a challenge. So what you want to do is any time after sunset, about an hour after twilight dies down, look to the west. It's best visible because of the angle of the ecliptic in the springtime sky, but you can see it any time of the year. And if you're in a really dark sky, you can see a wedge or a triangular glow toward the west, fairly low. This is the zodiacal light, and what that is is sunlight reflecting off of tiny dust particles that are left over from the formation of the planets, asteroids, and comets in the plane of our solar system, the ecliptic. So it appears to follow the line of the ecliptic in our sky. So if you really want an observing challenge, get out there to a dark site, as far away from city lights as you can, moonless night, and look toward the west following a twilight and see if you can see this rare phenomenon, the zodiacal light. It's a real observer's challenge. I'll see you next week.